All right, now we're going to twist this candy cane. So if you come over to our toolbar, uh, a little more than halfway down is this icon here. It's hard to explain exactly what it looks like, but if you hover over it, it says bend. This is, these are the deformer um, objects. So if we click on it, we get all these um, options, choose twist, and twist comes up into the uh, object manager here. The way this works is the deformer has to be a child of uh, whatever we're working on. So click, hold, and drag twist into candy cane. And with twist um, selected, <clears throat> in the attributes manager, the thing that we're going to deal with is the angle. So click, hold, and drag the angle all the way to 360, and it'll twist, as you can see. Now you can increase this past 360. You can input you know, um, any value you want to. However, with the twist, you have to be careful. Um, we could probably go higher, but if you go too high, the uh, you will start to see the deformations between the polygons. So I would be cautious about that. You can experiment with it, but if you go too high, you will start to see like the uh, It'll be like the polygons will start to fold almost, and they'll be very sharp edges. Other parameters I want you to be aware of, but we're not going to be working with today, is the size, uh, the X, Y, and Z size of the twist. You know, so if you were to decrease the Y value of this, you can see that the, the twist is only applied to where it is in the object, okay? So for now, just make sure that uh, all of these parameters are at 250 and that your um, angle is at 360 and that's fine. Save your file and I'll see you in the next video.